another one, another one that shocks me. Pa. Here in Ghana, they, like you, they, they don't speak with that pa. Huh? Don't speak with that pa. Oh. They must add pa. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello everyone. This is your girl Just Cheesy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time joining me, you're welcome. Can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification button should in case I post new videos, you will be notified. Okay, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment and tell me you've subscribed. Okay, and in my next video, I will be saying a shout out to you i will be sending a shout out to you okay you're welcome to my channel like share and comment on my video i love you darlings okay i love you all so i will be mentioning 10 things that shocked me in ghana as a nigerian hmm. it wasn't easy like it wasn't easy so i will be mentioning 10 things that shocked me in ghana as a nigerian the number one is here in ghana like Ghanaians, they don't they don't do without place. Like they don't do without place. Please, good morning. Please, how are you? Please, are you fine? Please, I didn't see you. I didn't see you yesterday. Please, please, and um, where are you going? Please, um, please shut up. <laughs> Even when they want to insult you, they put please. Okay, so I think um it's nice. Okay, I think it's nice. Kids raised in Ghana, like I told you, kids raised in Ghana. They are well behaved okay when a child is always using the word please that means the child is um is being seen as someone who is cool right uh -huh. um mommy please thank you thank you please um yes please no please like they don't do without please so that one number two is hmm. ghanaians cooks like they, they literally eat um everything with eggs boiled eggs ha they, they, they eat um, okra soup with egg Stew egg, jollof egg, like even when they want to drink water, they drink it. <laughs> like the put egg, like they eat everything, everything with egg, and that's why egg is so much expensive in Ghana. That's why egg is so much expensive. Eggs are so expensive in Ghana, okay, because they eat everything with egg. So that one is number two. Mm. A typical Ghanaian can't speak English without adding chew, like they are so so super proud of their chew. Chewy, right? Yeah, chewy. It's got it's, it's chewy, not chew. Yeah. A typical Ghanaian can speak English, like can speak straight English without adding chewy. Okay. Chewy is a Ghanaian language, one of the Ghanaian language, yeah. Um languages, yeah. They they also have a uh, Ga language and all that. But a typical Ghanaian hardly speak English without adding chewy. Okay. They are super super proud of their um language. Okay. Even a TV presenter, like a normal TV, TV presenter. Most times they get carried away and add chewy, chewy language, okay, when they are speaking. So that one is a very big shock. Like, yes, it's a very big shock. Because I remember, I remember going into going to see a doctor. The immediately I went into the doctor's um office. Okay, the doctor began to speak chew, chewy. So I was like, I don't understand. I have seen it. Uh -huh. So to me, it's a very big shock. Like every human being in Ghana, like all Ghanaians, they speak chewy. They speak tree like they can't speak English, like they can't speak straight English without adding tree. So that one is um a typical Ghana here in Ghana. Hmm, they can't do without um using the word oh oh hey <laughs> when 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 a Ghanaian is speaking, the next thing you hear is oh hey me hey, hey. 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 <laughs> so when you come to Ghana and you've not uh, really heard this oh oh Charlie oh like especially when they are telling you an, an interesting story or you are yeah, the one telling them an uh, interesting story the next thing you hear is oh oh hey 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 the next one is in Ghana. Once you go to the market, like yeah, they don't uh, price oh. in Ghana. They don't price. When I came to Ghana, newly, you know, I, I each time I, I I go out to buy something, they will tell me uh, this is a uh, this is twenty cities, right? 
when they say this is 20 cities and as a typical um as a typical nigerian right i i i would like to price because where we come from with the price oh with the price well 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 with the price so i discovered that when you price they get angry have you seen it so i felt it was because i am a foreigner or something but it was later i got to understand that here yeah, they don't price if a Ghanaian tells you this is five cities, if you have money, just buy. If you don't have money, respect yourself and leave. They don't like it when you price their market. They know they like them. They know they like them. Have you seen it? So that one is, by the way. Then in Ghana, oh, then when you enter, um, when you enter a bus, a bus. So you see, in Nigeria, we say conductor, bus conductor, right? Conductor. You want to go conductor? But here in Ghana, they say mates they don't say conductor okay they say mates i remember the day i entered uh trotro hmm. i gave the guy uh ten cities so he was supposed to give me my balance right i was like calling him conductor conductor like he didn't even mind because i was sitting at the back at the back of the bus like behind the i was at the i think the last seat also so i was just behind calling the guy hey conductor conductor like the guy didn't even mind me the guy didn't mind me like I, I called him for like more than five minutes. He didn't mind you. Even even the the, the the other passengers, they were like, what's this lady? What's what she saying? Which one is conductor? Like, what's she saying? I visit it. It was data someone that said, mate, I will, I will alight at so so, so place. I will alight here. So that was that when I I was like, so yeah, they know they call conductor. They call mates. <laughs> I was like, mate, give me my change. <laughs> I was like, mate, give me my change. So that was when the guy um, knew that all oh, this why that I was calling him. But yeah, when you call conductor, they will not understand what you are saying. Like they won't even understand what they, nobody will even mind you because they don't understand. Basically, so when you say uh, mate, they will know that you are calling the conductor. Yeah, yeah. In Ghana, they don't. Um, in Ghana, they don't raise kids with cane. They don't. They don't. They don't lash kids. Yes, they don't lash kids. I don't know if I should say it's an abomination or something. They don't use cane or children here, even in school. Sometimes when you tell a, a, a teacher, when, when your child disturbs you, lash the child. The teacher will tell you, oh, mommy, here, we don't lash you. Here, we don't lash. You only talk to them. And trust me, kids raised in Ghana, they are well disciplined. Even though they don't lash you, they are the big children for Ghana. Mm? Unlike where most of us are coming from, when a child try to give you a hala. you either you look for your slippers you look for your slippers or you get a cane have you seen it but here they don't use cane and yet the kids are well disciplined all the children raised in ghana you hardly see a wayward child in ghana yes you hardly see a wayward child in ghana all the children raised in ghana they are all disciplined that's why ghana produced someone like is it is his name is it mary or maria you know, Moses Bliss' wife. That's why I gotta produce a well-disciplined child. Should I even say child or lady? Like her. Okay? There are a lot of them in Ghana. That's how majority of the ladies are well-raised. They have, when it comes to well-disciplined ladies, eh? And for Ghana, you go get out for Africa. Not be a cap. I know the cap. I mean, saying it. I know the cap. I'm just telling you the reality. Ghana mothers knows how to raise children. They don't even need to lash you. They don't need to have a personal game at home. I mean, saying it. They don't even like it. When you lash a child, they don't like it, okay? And yet, the Ghana, Ghanaian mothers, uh, Ghanaian mothers, they know how to raise children. They know how to raise children. As for that one, they deserve award. Ghanaian mothers, they deserve award on that particular one, okay? So, another one, another one that shocks me. Here yeah, in Ghana, they, like, you, they, they don't speak with that pa. Huh? Don't speak with that pa. They must add pa. <laughs> they must add pa. So when they're trying to describe something, like they must put power, I don't know, my, my camera holder, hey, hey, it's not stable. I guess my kids have tampered with it. Then, so guys, I have a lot of um, experience here in Ghana, like there are plenty. Is it um, the story of a pussycat, you know, when I came uh, to Ghana newly, you know, um, but they are all um, a very beautiful experience, okay? so. 
I still remain your girl just cheesy. I will be stopping here for now. I still remain your girl just cheesy. I love you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe and comment by right by typing I've subscribed. Okay, then I will be giving you a very big shout out in my next video. Okay, so I love you all. I love you, my wonderful people. Please like, share, and comment on my video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Please, Cho, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Support your girl. I'm just cheesy. I love you so much. I love you, my wonderful people. God bless you all. God bless us all. So, Medasi, Medasi, I love you. Bye-bye.